Hey guys, as decided, we are going to do a Q&A video today. So we took questions from all our social networking pages. And here it is. Let's get straight into it. So the first question comes from Instagram. Here is the question. First, let's talk about the phases of the moon. In this demonstration, the light source is the sun. The ball represents the moon. The view of the camera is the same as we see the moon from Earth. New Moon Waxing Crescent First Quarter Waxing Gibbous Full Moon Waning Gibbous Last quarter Waning crescent Hey guys, can you see me there? I think I need some light over here Hello Did you see that? It was a dying star So what's a dying star? It's just a piece of comet or an asteroid which enters the Earth's atmosphere and burns up. So it burns up because of the friction caused in the atmosphere. So this causes the white beautiful tail behind it. If a stream of such pieces come together in the Earth's atmosphere, it's called a meteor shower. There are many showers that happen yearly. Some of the names are here. And if you want to check them out, I'll put the link in the description. So for the next question, let's go back to the studio. So this question is from our YouTube channel. So the small almond shaped eye comes from the fold which is called the apicanthal fold. It's an extra patch of the skin of the upper eyelid that covers the inner corner of the eye. So guys, what do you do when there's a lot of sunlight entering your eye? Obviously, you squint. So it's primarily an adaptive trait. It helps to block the sunlight that gets reflected of the surfaces. Now a question from Facebook. This is about black holes. So as it is a Q&A video, I have to make it short. In future, I'll be making videos on black holes for sure. For when a massive star at least 25 times the mass of our sun runs out of its nuclear fuel. The star then explodes as a supernova. What remains is a black hole. Usually only a few times heavier than our sun. This is because the explosion has blown off much of its material away. We know less about the birth of supermassive black holes, which are much heavier than stellar mass black holes and live in the center of the galaxies. One possibility is that supernova explosions of massive stars in the early universe form stellar mass black holes that over billions of years grew supermassive by consuming things. Thank you guys for all the replies. Thanks for watching guys. Merry Christmas guys. Happy New Year in advance and happy birthday New Year. Share this video, like this video. If you have any suggestion or any video you want me to make, comment down below. Subscribe to my channel guys. It's worth it. Uh, and as always, stay curious. Stay awesome.